and welcome to Beasley and KK's next adventure. We decided we wanted to make a Disney craft today and nothing goes better with a Disney craft than a Disney treat. And one of our favorites at Magic Kingdom every time we go is the Dole Whip. So we found an easy recipe online and we wanted to make it for you and show you how easy it is and how refreshing and fun. So here we go. First, we start off with pineapple. We bought fresh. This is about four cups of fresh pineapple, a little pineapple juice to make it a little less thick, and then of course, some creamy vanilla ice cream. Doesn't go better than that to go with it. Really nice blender, stick it all in there and blend it up. Whoops, a little bit of a mess. the blender and the pineapple a chance to get started before adding the ice cream just seems to make it a little less um, lumpy. Add a little juice during the blending process. Just helps it get creamier and creamier. Okay, that's a really good start. So we're gonna take the lid off and we're gonna add the ice cream. You can add as much or as little ice cream as you'd like. It says about four scoops of vanilla ice cream to one cup of pineapple. Um, we have use the pineapple a couple of different ways. We have frozen the fresh pineapple, but that makes the blending process a little bit harder. So since we have so much pineapple today, about four cups, we're gonna add the ice cream a little bit at a time and blend it up and see how it tastes. Okay, it's pretty well blended. So we're gonna give it a try. You can use a spatula or a spoon, anything to kind of give the sides a little break. Get everything down in there, okay? And we're gonna give it a taste. Grab a spoon. Give it just a little taste. Wow, it's absolutely <laughs> perfect. There's several things you can do with it, so we're gonna give it a taste and drink uh, some of it together, and we'll let you know. All right, Ready? Beasley, let's toast and taste Cheers. and see what it tastes like. Cheers. Mmm. Perfect. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Perfect Dole Whip. Dole Whip. <laughs> perfect Dole Whip for a perfect craft. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to share with you is it's really easy to um, make it ahead of time because it is so easy. And you can put it in these little small plastic disposable cups of any size. Fill them a little, you know, about almost all the way to the top. And then you can cover these with plastic wrap. Yep. Put in the freezer and then take them out for a party later mm -hmm. or a gathering. Set them out about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes ahead of time. They'll be soft enough Easy. to um, eat with a spoon. Almost like a, mm -hmm. they actually have like, like a, a, almost has like, like a, a soft serve. Yeah, like a soft serve almost. Yeah. So they're perfect for that. And also, um, if you want to make it a little prettier, yes. and you can put it in a little prettier glass. And then, of course, garnishing, you know, you have to have garnishes. You do. So we'll put some on our glass right up here Yay. with Mickey. You know what we haven't tried? What? 
is the raspberry pineapple Dole Whip. Well, we haven't tried to make that. But we will. But we will because I love that idea and love the raspberry Dole Whip. Me too. So you can garnish it okay. any way you like so it's a little prettier for a party. Yes. Yes. And then take it out, like I said, a few minutes before mm -hmm. so that it's soft enough uh, for your company to enjoy. Um, and it's that, that's easy. And it's that easy yep. and it's delicious. Also, if you wanted to just simply put your entire mm. blender mm -hmm. in the, well, this part of the blender, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in the freezer, and then you can set it right back on your motor, turn it on again, and it'll be freshly whipped and pour it out to serve. So let's, let's enjoy. Mm -hmm. It's time to craft. It's time to craft. I'm really excited to show you this craft because you thought of this craft. I did. On our very, on our very first Disney trip. I did. You did. I did. I have never collected even the first pen and, mm -hmm. but Beasley loves the pens and Obsessed. she's had them for a long time and she yep. loves to collect new ones and loves to trade them. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, some of the pens I love, but I'm not really, um, you don't want to, you want to keep them. I want to keep them. Yeah. I don't really care to trade them. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to buy like my favorites, um, mm -hmm. some of the really classics, which I love. I love the villains. Love is an understatement. And so I decided, I thought, what am I going to do with all these pins when I get them home though? So a great way to display them. Right. I needed a way to display them without... Um, them being hidden or, or in a box just on a, or hanging on a lanyard, a lanyard on a that you're never gonna wear. Yeah, or, yeah. But I, I wanted to a cute think new way, a cute new way, exactly. New way. But let's let's show you her cute new way. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna pick up the pillow. Give me okay. your doll whip. I'll give you my doll whip for size reference. Okay. Because this this pillow is unlike any other pillow. <laughs> Here is my Mickey Mouse pillow that I bought on Etsy, and we will give the reference in the video further down, but I wanted to hold him so you could see the size reference of him. She had a small and a medium, or a medium and a large, I think, and I ordered the large. Yes. I love this pillow. Okay, I give him a good punch for me. Show how, like, sturdy this pillow Look at that. He is, he is solid. so solid. He is solid. It feels really like, I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like there is a pillow form inside and not just stuffing. Uh, but it's very well made and it's made out of, um, gosh, I don't even know. Is what it this, chenille? Maybe a type of chenille. Uh -huh. um, but it's sparkly and I just absolutely love him. So I ordered this pillow specifically to hold my pens. So I collected some pens and then I thought, well, how am I gonna attach the pens? Because, <laughs> uh, you know, the pens that you get at the, uh, at the parks have the two pin backs. They have two straight pins with, uh, with, rubber, backing. with rubber backing on them uh, for safety and so, I thought, how am I going to attach them? Um, so we figured out a way. We got crafty. We got crafty. So here is her pin collection. From villains to classics to resorts, all the things. Festivals. Festivals, yes. <laughs> Love us some Remy. 
but this is how she's going to attach them to the pillow securely. So we took the rubber backings off and we left the pins on them for now to see if we can attach them to the pillow without removing the pins. And I simply hot glued, you can see that, I hot glued a pin, another kind of clasp pin, to the back of each of them. And they, these come in all sizes, so you can buy very different, you can even buy a large pack that has all sizes. So here's a long one. And I just attached it to the back with hot glue. The advantage to using hot glue on this type of metal is that if you decide you want to use the pen or trade the pen, whatever you prefer, you can actually just snap this off. The hot glue comes off clean and doesn't mess up the pen at all. That's so that's awesome. what we love about Here's the pen it. with the back on it. I'm using a tool like this, and this is just a little old screwdriver, but something with a, a firm end, a hard end, so that when you put the pen in, just press down on the fabric till the, the screwdriver or whatever you're using finds it. There it is. You can use your finger if you can get it behind the pen. Clip it in. And turn the little, some of them are a little easier than others. The other advantage to having the other pins is that it sticks right in. Okay, this is one you can see if you decide to take it off and you want to trade it or, or wear it, whichever you prefer, that the glue does not mess up the integrity of the pin at all. It is still completely intact and the hot glue just comes right off and you can use your pin again as well. Time for a break. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Nothing more fun than to do a Disney craft when you have a Disney snack. Oh, this is the best a Disney day. treat. Okay, well here it is. It is a tiny bit time consuming because you have to work very carefully with the pens, but so worth it and exactly what I thought it would look like. So I'm very, very happy about this. So excited to get more pens and add to it and it just turned out to be so cute and so fun. So if you try it, make sure you let us know and let us know too if you have any tips that we can do um, the pins better or a better way to put them on or, or any of those things.